This is Netflix. I'm going to go over price targets for Friday. Thank you so much to Marat for pointing this out. He says that he thinks the buy zone for Netflix is roughly in the 340s. A good sell zone is roughly in the 470s if you are swing trading. Hi everyone, it's Dow on the Dow. We ended the day at $361.20, down more than 1%. The 52-week low, $229.51. The 52-week high, $485. Check out the performance here. For the last six months, we are up more than 5%. Year to date, 21%. And year out, 68%. The one-year price target on TradingView is $456.58, which represents a 26% increase. Now, this is where we ended basically at support. To the north side from where we are takes us to two standard deviations and a potential sell zone area if you are day trading. 366.75, 366.80, and at four standard deviations, that takes us to roughly $473.38. Now to the south side from where we are, takes us to negative two standard deviations at 353.79, 350.48 roughly, and at negative four standard deviations, $347.21. If we hit this line, this line, or this line, I will anticipate a bounce as people buy the dip. And we are basically at support, so I will anticipate a slight bounce here to the upside because people are buying in as well. These lines here are your sell lines. I expect price to always stay within two and negative two standard deviations all day long. This is the base. Check out what happened today. This is the beginning of the day. We went up a little bit here from where we are down here. This is resistance, broke through resistance, but could not sustain the move. Went back down, grinding along the base, the middle of the trend, went up again, went sideways, went south, back up again. So basically along this base is where we traded today. And looking left, this is a clear sell zone and a clear buy zone because when we are up here and we go down, this turns into support. Let me show you the RSI. Oh, let me put the indicator down. Actually, I'm going to highlight this just to show you the bot even tells you it's a cell cell area. And without the bot, I always try to play within two and negative two. So this didn't quite make it. You're never always going to be precise. It's close enough. So the bot came on and told you this was a buy zone. So again, I'm gonna move this out. This became the sell, and if we hit this line or this line, I expect the bot to trigger a buy signal. Now I'm gonna show you what 470 looks like on the daily time frame because it's easier to see visually. So Marat's buy zone is roughly in the 340s. So that would take us roughly down here. Let me mark out that area. Oops, the magnet's on. Let me turn off my magnet. Right there. So looking left. Oh, so I cannot see this on the five minute time frame. Let me flip this over onto the daily to see the big picture. I've clearly marked this out many times because I used to be in Netflix for my mom 
and I did get out, but obviously had I stayed longer, I would have definitely made more money for her, but that's okay. A gain is a gain. I'll take that over a loss. Now, 340 that I marked out is right here. All right, so we would be at between three and four standard deviations. Is that right? This is where we are, hard to see. So 340 takes us right here. Again, yep, here is negative three and then negative four standard deviations. So that is a definitely good zone for me as well. But it would be nice if you could pick it up at 322 and then ride your way back up again because even TradingView thinks the price target is going to go higher at 456. So for Marat's sell zone at 470, this takes us back to a gap and that gap starts at 448 change that out and takes us to basically 470 so I would agree with that as well I would agree with the technical analysis and the one year price target again is 456 so 456 for trading view would take us to roughly right about there and Gaps tend to fill, so I think that is underestimating where Netflix could probably go. I'm going to say this will at least fill out, and then the high price target right there is 485 on the daily. And then obviously looking left other targets down the road but that is way far out if we can repeat the levels that we have been at previously with netflix and let me now show you spx there's something i want to go over i talked about this recently today we ended at 43.49 to the north side from where we are takes us to resistance and a possible take profit area at 43.73 two standard deviations 441.13 and below that 443.33. All right, this gap closed to the downside at 43.58. Looking left, oh, before I do that, this is the move from today. So we were up here, fell back down to support, went back up, fell back down to support, up again, down, up, and then hit negative two standard deviations which is a clear buy zone for me a buy zone here and a buy zone here and what happens at support we bounced up and then we fell back down a little bit all right i talked about this ticker back on the seventh when marat also pointed this out and this gap closed here at 48 4308 this one closed at 4337 i pointed out this gap at 4375 closes out at 4401 well if i extend this out to today you can see that we hit this gap fill on the 10th all right so this is closed out but we have not closed the upper portion of this at 4401. So I will anticipate price to go up there at some point to fill this gap, but I expect it to go even higher at two standard deviations at 44, again, roughly 1314. The RSI is at 51 and it is We're going sideways, so hopefully it'll go up and hit this area of what I consider resistance and support. All right, that does it for me.
Thank you so much for watching. Also read the comments on my page there because Marat does give a lot of technical analysis. And thank you so much again, Marat, for all the tips. And thank you for watching.